hadn't had we I hadn't had any food in almost a week. I had no money, no job, and I lived right around the corner. I lived on Peak Street between Worth and Victor in a great big ugly blue house that was built back in 1896. It had no utilities. I had no running water, no electricity. All I had was a roof over my head. It turned into a drug house. It got busted and it was totally demolished on the inside. When I got food, I ate it straight from the can. I had my little hammer and knife and that was my can opener. Doing drugs, uh, making wrong decisions, wrong choices in men, wrong choices in friends. I've been mentally and physically abused. I was what you would call at rock bottom. But it took a friend to tell me, you gotta take your pride, put it on the shelf, and get your butt over there and go ask for food. So that's what I did. I was that hungry. I saw the good people at Central Dallas Ministries and how nice they were to me. And uh, it just kind of gave me a wake-up call. They gave me a chance to volunteer, to be able to help other people, to see other people, and understand a little bit more that I'm not as bad off as I think I am. Uh, they helped me get my job that I've been at now for a year. They approached me one afternoon and said, we think we have a place for you if you're interested. And I said, yes, it has hot running water. It's not very big, it's perfect, as long as it's close to a bus line, and it is. And they just, you know, just being there to be you know, supportive, to say, you're doing okay, you're doing fine. <laughs> for places like Central Dallas Ministries and the support that they're given, I find it very uplifting. It's helped me tremendously. It's given me strength. It's helped me give my self-esteem back. And I just, I don't have enough words to say thank you.